All right, guys, today we got some serious stuff to talk about, so I'm going to dive right into it. I'm going to try to keep this as short as possible, but I'm going to try to get it out there so you guys know what's going on. Now, as I showed in the disclaimer, and I'm going to say this a whole lot throughout this video, this is just my thoughts and opinions, and you're going to hear this is just my opinion, and in my opinion, you're going to hear that term a lot in this video, and there's a reason for that, and um, I hope it doesn't drive you guys crazy, but I have to do it to try to get this video out there so you guys can get this information. So with that being said, you guys saw the title of the video, and literally what's going on right now is Rapid Radios is threatening lawsuits to YouTube content creators. Any content creator that has made a video that is less than favorable, favorable or negative about their radios. So if you made a video and you pointed out... Um, issues that you in your opinion were issues in your opinion were issues about their radios or in your opinion things that you felt that people should know about their radios they are literally sending you an email and telling you either you take the 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 video down or they're not only going to hit you with a hundred thousand dollar slander lawsuit but they're also going to hit you with a bunch of copyright strikes and have your channel pulled off of youtube so they're threatening you with a hundred thousand dollar lawsuit and copyright strikes on your channel to get you kicked off YouTube now I've got the emails back and forth with me and rapid radios that I'm gonna read off to you and I'm gonna put them up here but I reached out to some bigger youtubers than I am after I received my um, threatening letter about either you pull the video down or we're gonna sue you and we're gonna copyright strike you and I found out and, and got it confirmed through a lot bigger youtuber guys than me that yes the people that I had questioned about it all have been received these letters and all have been told they would be sued and threatened if they didn't take down their videos now myself included um, I have pulled my video down and, and several of the others have pulled their video down a few of them were able to edit their videos and keep their video up because they had other things going on in the video besides discussing this um, so um, with that being said basically it boils down to is that anybody that has made a video that is less favorable or negative about rapid radios is getting contacted or you're gonna get contacted most likely with a letter that says either you take it down or we're gonna sue you or we're gonna copyright strike you into Bolivian from rapid videos now um, in my opinion what they're trying to do is they're trying to scrub the internet of any videos that show them in a negative light and show these radios in a negative light or in my opinion with the opinions of the people that made videos we put our opinions about we talked about in our opinion the mismarketing and um, um, the mismarketing and miss the ad the, the mis, mismarketing and misleading ad campaigns that this radio is marketed as and, and shown as in our opinions and so we try to point out some of those things and point out some of the discrepancies in our opinion about what was being put out there with the the videos so um, and anybody that's done that or anybody that's actually in my opinion tried to tell in my opinion in my opinion has tried to tell the truth and and put out good information in my opinion to people about these radios including myself um, have all received these nasty little um, we're going to sue you letters and we're going to get you copyright striked off, off, off of YouTube. So with that being said, so you understand the context of what's going on, I'm going to read these emails to you guys because this is the experience I've had with these guys to this date. So let's get into that. So the first email is from Darren G. I don't know who the hell Darren G is, um, but it's from Rapid Radios. And you guys will see this up on there. And it says um, Darren G is Darren Gillum. He's the sales and logistics manager for Rapid Radios and Rapid Consulting LLC. So the first, the first email reads as this, and you guys can see this on the screen as well. It says, hey, Bravo Basson, I wanted to reach out to you today to see if I could have some of your time for a phone call. I came across your video on YouTube and would like to discuss to see if there's anything I can do to help change your mind about our product or help educate you on it, educate me on it. Please let me know. Your best phone number, I look forward to hearing from you. That was the first email. The second email, because I didn't pay attention to that one. The second one was, Hi, Bravo Bassett team. I'm just following up on the previous email to see if I can get in touch with someone. As previously mentioned, I would like to discuss your YouTube video about our product. If you could give me a good number to call, I would appreciate your time. Same guy, Darren G, sent me this. So that is the second email. So 
this third email and just so you know the first email was sent on the first email was sent on July 18th so that's when this started okay second one was July 30th and then this one was right after that so this is the third email this is from Darren again and you guys can see it on screen like I said it says I sent an email a little while back and also just sent a follow-up one today I want to reach out to you to see if I could have some of your time for a phone call. I came across your video on YouTube and would like to discuss to see if there's anything I can do to help change your mind about our products and help educate you on it. Please let me know your best phone number. I look forward to hearing from you. Okay, so that was the education one. So, now, this is my response back to this guy, Darren, who is their, their whatever dude and stuff and I, I sent this um, on July 30th so this one is my response back it says hi Darren I have received your messages and if you want to talk about your radios then I would be more than happy to have you or a representative of your company to come on my channel and fully explain your radios and how they really work and function with all the pros and cons that come with them and I will plan on asking and addressing the same things I addressed in my video and then we can have all the actual facts out there and that way everyone can see and hear what you have to say and then there's no confusion on what your radios can and cannot do and not just some marketing hype video that is made to sell your radio sincerely Bravo Basson that was my first first um, email to them their response was from Darren again it says we can just do a regular phone call if that is something that you're willing to do my response back was and this was on August 6th when I responded back to him. It says, Hi Darren, so let me just say that I told you I was more than willing to have you come on my show slash channel and we could have an honest conversation about your radios and what the pros and cons are of your radios and how they really do and don't work. And I would address the same issues that I addressed in my videos so that everyone could get the actual facts about your radios in the room with either yourself or a representative of your company. So there is transparency and no more questions about what the real capabilities of your radios are. You see, I am all about honor and integrity and actually telling the truth and giving people the facts and best information possible. And the fact that you want to have a private conversation with me versus a public one on my channel tells me you have something to hide about your radios or something that you do not want the consumers to actually know. So I will say this again. If you want to have an honest conversation about your radios on my platform, I, will, I welcome it, but I will not be having any private backdoor phone calls with you. The reason for this is I want our whole conversation recorded on video for everyone to see so I can make sure we put all the facts out there about your radios and how they do and don't actually work and what their real capabilities are. Which by the way I actually did in my video and I got all those facts so I wrote which by the way which I spelled, wrote by what by the what I misspelled this I said but which by the way I actually did in my video and I got all those facts of your website just FYI I got all those facts off your website sorry just FYI the thing is I am not trying to sell anybody anything on my channel I have no sponsors because I will not have some company tell me what I can or cannot say or do on my channel so if you really want to talk to me and have a conversation and so-called educate me on your radios then have the integrity to show up and tell the truth about your radios as I am sure people will still buy them but you know and I know that you have some seriously misleading marketing going on and if you do not want people like myself and others to call you out on it then change the way you are doing business and marketing these radios sincerely Bravo Basson so that's what I sent to them and then I got this email um, what is today today is the 26th so I got this email yesterday so this is uh, the 25th I received this you know 925 I received this email it's from Darren again and this is what he had to say to that he said hi Bravo Basson I have discussed this situation with the owner we'd like to work through this am this 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 the amical way versus the hard way keep that in mind so this is the Iowa the idea of amical way Revealing is us is one thing. Causing commercial damage, damages with numerous lies in a public forum is not acceptable. And I will address that in a minute. If the video isn't taken down, he will be getting a hold of his lawyer to contact you. There will be a copyright strike on your account. And if it isn't taken down, this is a liable slander lawsuit for damages in excess of $100,000. Best regards. 
So their idea of resolving this amicably, amic, amicably, am, amicably, I can't even say amicably, um, is to threaten to sue me and copyright strike me into oblivion uh, to get their way. Um, now, he says that I, I did numerous lies in a public forum. So if you guys got to see my video, everything I said in the video, I literally pulled off of their website and I actually showed the information on the video as I was talking about it. So there were no lies. There were no anything like that. It was me talking about my opinions and giving you guys the information that you, I felt you needed to know and the truth about these radios in my opinion. And I'll keep saying that. It was in my opinion, the truth about these radios, in my opinion. So... That is their response to me, is they want to sue the hell out of me. Now, I'm not the only one that received this, this stuff, as I said in the beginning. So, there are several other YouTubers that have received this stuff. Some of them chose to take their videos down, like I chose to take mine down. Others have edited their videos um, to comply with this threatening, crazy crap. Because we all know that these guys have deep pockets with lawyers, and we don't have the money to fight that. So now, I'm going to give my thoughts and opinions on this. So basically, um, these guys are literally trying to scrub the internet of anything that shows their radios in a less than positive light. So if you go, go Google Rapid Radios right now, you will see that most of the videos are, are positive videos. There's still a couple ones up there that are addressing the same things all of us addressed in there. And I'm sure they're either going to be getting emails or they're going to be contacted if they haven't already been contacted about either changing their video or taking it down, and they're going to get the same threatening letters that several of us have received. Now, I'm going to say this. I do not like bullies. I don't like bullies at all. I didn't like bullies in high school. I don't like bullies now. I definitely don't like corporations that think they can bully people around just because we're doing a review and talking about their product, and some of us may not like their product. Okay, I think that is wrong as hell that these guys are actually going to do this and think that they can get away with this shit and it's not okay. And the fact that they're, they're, they have the backing of the people that they have backing of shows you that all they're doing is trying to control the situation and they want you to, to, to not be able to see people giving their actual opinions on these radios other than the opinions that they want you to see. Okay, and in my opinion, that is not okay, and what they're doing is not okay, in my opinion, and it's unacceptable, in my opinion, as well. So, you guys do what you want with this, this information. All right, guys, now with all that being said, let's address a couple things real quick. These guys went from wanting to talk to me to try to can change my mind and educate me on their radios to threatening to sue me and copyright strike me and accusing me of lies when I got all my information directly from their website and actually showed that on my video. So that right there, instead of instead of them willing to come on to and make a video, they could have done it through Zoom, Skype, or whatever, and we could have had a chat and they could have come on my channel and they could have talked about the radios and told the pros and cons of it. Instead of doing that and coming over there and 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 trying to, you know, correct me and educate me on their radios like they said they wanted to do, instead of doing that and taking that opportunity to say, sure, we'll come on your channel, we'll we'll tell you how these really work, blah blah blah, their response instead was we're going to sue the hell out of you and we're going to copyright strike you and we're going to try to destroy you. So that right there, in my opinion, should tell you everything you need to know about this company, Rapid Radios, and the kind of people that own this company. Because um, in my opinion, if I have a company and I see a video that's not quite so favorable and the guy that made the video actually gives me the opportunity to come onto their channel and address those things and actually possibly prove them wrong in, in what they were talking about, I'm going to take that opportunity because I'm going to stand behind my product. And if I have a good product, you're not afraid to do that. If I'm telling you the truth about my product, you're not afraid to go on camera and go into, the, into onto somebody's channel to do that, in my opinion. You shouldn't be afraid to do that. You should be more than willing to do that. But one of the things I will tell you too, and then we're going to be done with this, is that if you go to anybody that's interviewed these people on Rapid Radios, or if you go to any of their videos that they've put out, there's no comments. You can't comment on it. You can't question it. You can't say anything. Comments are turned off. It's basically a one-sided conversation. Now, 
that's not how the world works, you know. And if you want to put out things and you want to have open discussion to prove that you have a good product, then you should be willing to hear the feedback from the people that are actually buying your product or reviewing your product. You know, I've seen companies actually go do that and change people's mind because they're willing to step up and explain things and stuff. And people are like, oh, because they didn't realize this or they didn't realize that. I was more than open to having these guys come on my channel and to um, <clears throat> educate me on the radios and to get that information out there so there were no questions about it. But the thing that I know, in my opinion, and in my opinion, I put out the truth and, and the things that I felt that you guys should know about these radios, which many others that are way higher up than me in the YouTube community had done as well. And because of that, in my opinion, these guys didn't like that, and so they went after us all. So with that being said, I want you guys to throw your questions, comments down below. Tell me what you guys think about this stuff. I know you guys know several of the other um, YouTubers I'm talking about that actually have had the same things done. I'm sure you guys, guys that pay attention, have noticed some things. And I think that this is something that everybody needs to know is going on. And this is also a warning to you guys that are reviewing gear and doing things that these companies and corporations may come after you and threaten you with $100,000 million lawsuits. Who knows what they're going to do um, to try to, in my opinion, cover up um, their whatever, whatever, in my opinion, you know. To, to to try not to allow their products be shown in a bad light, let's say. Um, but the thing about that is, is there's always going to be people, people that like your product, and there's always people that are going to hate your product. There's going to be people that like and hate it. That's in everything you do. So are you going to sue the oblivion about every, sue everybody into oblivion and threaten them every time somebody doesn't like something you make? I mean, that's a lot of lawsuits. That's a lot of lawsuits. So anyway, I'm going to leave you guys with that. I'd love to hear what you guys think about it down below. Um, let the comments fly. Um, that's all I got for you guys. And the last thing I want to say to Rapid Radios, this is all I have to say to you guys. We'll see you guys on the next video.